welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you for stopping by. And if you are returning, thank you for coming back. Today's video is going to be another wig review, a synthetic wig review. And this is a wig that I purchased in July. This is from Sensational. I do a lot of Sensational wigs on my channel. I have noticed that. This is Sensational's Ashley Lace Unit 1 in color T4 slash Ash Blonde. I showed you guys Dashley, I forgot what number it was, I think it's two. And that wig was pretty cute, but I originally like placed that order because I saw Wigging It Out review. I think she reviewed this one, but whatever wig she reviewed from this collection, it was in this color. And I was like, wow, a synthetic company did a really good job on a ash blonde color because I had I had recently did the um, did a ash blonde wig from a human hair company and everybody loved it and it looked really beautiful but I was wanting to see if I could find a nice ash blonde that was synthetic so um, that's why I picked it up Dashley lace unit one looks like on the stock card it's a very plain style and these styles are gonna be really plain because they're just kind of like staple styles to have in your collection that's the basis of their that's the basis of their dashley collection it's fast fashion meets hair this has a deep center part with baby hair so you guys can see that you guys can see that there so this is what she looks like i haven't tried her on at all but this is what the ash blonde looks like looks pretty good it's meant for a center part and that's how I'm gonna wear it so that's what the center part looks like it's pre plucked it had lace on it but I cut it off um, it was soft lace this is what it looks like on the inside of the cap we have two combs at the front a comb in the back as well as adjustable straps so I'm gonna try this on without a wig grip to see what the fit is like my natural hair my natural hair is actually getting thicker and longer, um, but it's not like, it's kind of in cornrows, kind of, at the front, but not in the back. So that's what my natural hair looks like underneath. And I'm wearing like a medium brown stocking cap. so it feels like it's on the smaller side so it feels like a smaller cap and I wanted to I knew I was gonna wear I knew I was gonna be reviewing like a blonde wig and a wig that's like an orange color so I wanted to do a black top to kind of really showcase the hair but um, just putting it on my head I think this length is really really nice and I like these simple waves and this color so um, this is what it looks like as far as length goes I'm six feet tall and this this is an everyday length I don't even have to stand up it's like 16 inches it's like that sweet spot of Valentino might be a little bit longer than Valentino but a nice sweet spot and I'm six feet tall so if you're shorter than me it's gonna be longer but on me it feels like it's an everyday length has a nice density as well so I am probably gonna wear this with a wig grip though so I'm gonna go ahead and put mine on
So I'm back and I have, you know, just put powder in the part and then I closed it up with some black eyeshadow just to make the part um, stand out more and a little bit more clean. Instead of pulling out my hot comb or like my curl wand, I've just been using my blow dryer to flatten out the tops of wigs that have a little bit of hump action there. And it works just like a hot comb or any other hot tool and it works just fine. I was taking pictures and stuff and I was I was filling this wig but I was like it needs some volume because it looks a little bit flat so I was like I guess I need to add hairspray or something but I didn't do that. So what I did do was um, I took my paddle brush and I brushed it to the back and then I just pushed it forward to give it some some volume there so now it's not as you know straight down and flat like this we just have you know more volume on this side but you can wear it anywhere any way that you would like but I do prefer the feathered bang look I think it's a lot more um it's a lot more fun with a little bit of volume going on so the shine this wig has i think it has a pretty low luster um i don't think it's too shiny texture to me is like a i'm gonna say like a light yakky i'm not gonna say it's like super like kinky straight or something like that but it has a little bit of texture to it, it doesn't feel like doesn't feel like doll hair as you can see back here, we are having some tangling already. Um, so you will get tangling with this wig. I do have some shedding as well, but it's not like overwhelming. The cap size is small to medium. It's not as small as the Alani wig that I just tried, which was like one of the smallest wigs I've ever tried. It's not that small. Um, it's small to medium. So um, in that range, it's definitely not big head, all the way big head friendly and stuff, but it's small to medium. I really like that. I think this color is beautifully mixed. Um, it's a nice, I mean it's ash blonde so it's like gray and blonde together and I think they did a great job with the rooting and then the color itself throughout the hair and I think I really like this wig because of the length 
with this color because I don't mind wearing a full length like 20 24 inch you know um, blonde wig but I think when you have like a moderate length with a with a bold color I think it just um, it's more wearable and I feel like this is very wearable I like that it's a simple wig at the same time like the only thing I have to worry about is just putting powder in the part making sure the the top is flat and then adding a little bit of volume just with my paddle brush and that's it so um, I do feel like it has Valentino vibes with the layers but Valentino has a lot more layers than this. This one has like long layers but when you feather it it looks like it has more layers than it does which is fine with me. So if you don't want to have to keep you know doing this throughout the day I would probably put some hairspray on it just to keep that look and I think this is actually really really pretty rating I am gonna give this a nine I don't really have any complaints with it um oh should I give it that so I was gonna give it a nine but it's like nothing wrong with it but I don't want to give it a ten so because it's not like my favorite wig ever but I really do like how this looks so I'll give it a nine and a half I think it's a really really nice standard wig like the style of it is basic but this color paired with this like basic everyday look i think it's really really pretty so um this this video is not sponsored so i'll probably just put the link to where i purchased mine which was on wig types um i'll put that in the description box for you guys if you are interested in purchasing it if you're somebody that would pick up this color let me know down below um or would you go for something a bit more conservative i know we're about to go into fall but I would probably still wear this in the fall. I think this is really pretty. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. Shout out to everybody who is in my premiere right now watching and chatting with me. Shout out to you guys. If you would like to catch one of my premieres, make sure you are subscribed to my channel and you hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time that I do another upload and premiere a video so I can chat with you and you can chat with my other subscribers as well. Shout out to you guys and thank you guys so much for supporting my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.